Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is a very special day because it is the first day that I am making a dedicated YouTube video for this channel. I'm really excited and I hope the quality is way much better than my previous videos. Normally whenever I make a YouTube video, I will just take a highlight from my stream and upload it. However, the quality is not that great because I do not have amazing internet and I cannot stream at high high quality but I can record at high quality so today I'm gonna to be playing the dying light campaign uh, dying light 2 is coming out fairly soon and I haven't played the first one yet so I'm really excited to play this with you guys I hope you will hit that subscribe button and also go check me out on twitch if you haven't already it's uh, twitch.tv slash austeria 23 let's get started HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Haran. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the Varian structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. I should be able to do that. I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Oh, I'm getting my shit kicked in. Dude, why would you shoot these zombies? I mean, I understand, but... Oh my god. This is intense already. <laughs>
Locate Solomon and intercept the file. You pinch him. You're scared. Not scared. Then pinch him. He blinked. What? He blinked again. What if he's a zombie? Ah! Zombie! Run! Oh, this is trippy. You received a new outfit. Go to your place. Dash to change the style. Uh, I don't know where I am. This is the bathroom. Living room. Oh my gosh, it's making me motion sick. Let's open this up. You sleep for three days like a dead man, then scare children. Off to a great starter. <laughs> Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will brief you. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Thirty-one. That's your number. Excuse me? Your number. You're the thirty-first infected. I'm the eighteenth. Everything is counted here. One fewer doses of antizen. One more new infected. One more runner gone. Hmm. Alright, room 190. Amir died because of this guy? Quiet. Now he's gonna get a mere santisim. I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. Okay. I'm looking for the... Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good, because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antizen was totally <laughs> crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know why runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the antis and meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair. I'm not, I'm not lazy. I'm just... Hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave in. Come back later. Dang. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. <laughs> I to say he is kind of young to be the boss. All right. I'm not lazy, you little shit. Check. For the lost survivor on the 13th floor. What floor? Am I? Okay, I'm on 19. Dang. 18. Can I run? Wait, why is it telling me to go back upstairs? Okay. You know this one? 
What oh. did these zombies say to me? Clearly I'm missing something here. Okay. How are we ever going to get out of here? Where do you think you're going? The thirteenth floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. Thirteen? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? All right. Oh, dude, an elevator? In a building that's probably, like, barely hanging on? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Jeez. Oh my god. How many people died here? Ew. Gross. Crane here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Get your hands on some Anderson ASAP. Help! Had you Help! Somebody! What the hell? away from him oh god you had to kill him didn't you <laughs> god damn it that was that was my brother oh I shit came down to see him and easy easy it's all right now i'll, I'll get help hey raheem this is crane i'm down here on 13. listen this so guy sad. of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie oh shit 31 you went after mark is it is it safe down there yeah, what's well, safe enough now? Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss. You've got to find some goss. Oh, and alcohol. Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. Please hurry. I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Gauze and alcohol. Okay. Tip. Oh, hey, nails. What does it sound? Hey, some alcohol, yes. Can I, can I bust it open? It's not. More duct tape, any gauze though, not duct tape. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this okay. a shot. Med kit. V8. 
Alright. Sweet. Okay. I got it. I can here and give this to him. Oh, that looks bad. <laughs> okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes an alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. He looks like he's about to pass out. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. Ah. Uh. I hope he makes it. Well done, 31. Hey, 31. Not bad for a new guy. Perhaps I misjudged you. Yeah, I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Hey, gotta talk to Raheem. Taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, please. Never said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> he seems pretty determined. So, so, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. Call me when you've changed. All right, so change clothes. I'm gonna do that. Can I take a shower? No. I'm gonna change the clothes and I think that's where I'm gonna end this one. And then I will see you guys in the next one after that. This is your player stash. You can change clothes here as well as leave any items for storage as your survivor rank increases. You will access new outfits. Sweet. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. Alright guys, this is where I'm going to end it. I will be back with another video. And we'll see what happens next. Next time!